Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco, Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again. You know, it's really funny because, as I said in the commentary video, each, each year we're going to be doing, for Halloween, two commentaries. A trick commentary with a bad movie, and then a treat commentary with a good movie. And for the trick commentary, funnily enough, I've been editing since 2 in the after, or like, no, since, since 12, since noon. I've been editing ever since then, and it's fucking 5.30, and, and the video still isn't done editing, and I'm, I shouldn't even be recording because there's sound in the background today, too, uh, but that's just how it goes. This trick commentary has just extended through this whole day. And, and and to be honest, it's good that I watched 12 episodes of The X-Files before today because I'm supposed to watch 16 episodes a day. And so today I'll, I only have to watch four. And I've already watched three. So I only have one left. And I have to shoot another commentary today. And, and the videos are still sent. And God, this is just a disaster. Uh, it's almost like laughable. But anyways, let's get into the video. I just wanted to make that announcement for those of you who care. Uh, it is not my fault, I promise. It's technology's fault. Because I edited the whole commentary by 2.30. And then at 2.30, the videos have just been taking forever to send through Facebook because I edited, I did the video on Safi's phone and so I have to get them onto my phone <sighs> and they're still sending god damn it <laughs> it's, it's really bad anyways I am here to review Far Cry 6 the new Far Cry video game now, first off, this was my my impression. My first impression was that it was very disappointing. I played it, and immediately when I played it, when I turned it on, I noticed like this game is not going to be good because I I got onto the menu, and there's all these like weird questions about like hearing and shit like that. And so it was like, I don't know, you just got a bad feeling from it. Like, this game is definitely going to be shit. And then you get into the story, and it was a huge red flag just went off in two seconds. Because uh, it said, do you want to play this in story mode or the action mode? And story mode is labeled as a mode basically for pussy game journalists who can't handle playing a video game because they're too busy uh, tweeting on Twitter about the next person they want to cancel. Uh, so you have the pussy mode, and then you have like the very easy mode, and that's the action mode. And unfortunately, the game is super easy. It's way too easy. Whenever there's a challenge, it just it doesn't feel challenging as much as it feels like they just bombard you with countless enemies in like a way where it's like hard to recover and hard to take cover and shit like that so I really don't think that the the difficulty was good at all you know I, as far as I can remember didn't other Far Cry games have multiple difficulty levels like didn't they have easy medium hard very hard survivor like that's just a common thing uh, for people to do, you know, I guess if, if you really want to cater to these pussy journalists, you could just replace the word easy with story mode or something, or like, uh, you know, uh, theatrical mode, and, and so, uh, sorry, I just got a message notification, um, so I, I think that the, the difficulty was really badly, done and I think that that was a huge like you know when you start to play a game and you get something like that that really makes you like have a bad feeling it's not good and it not makes it it, it does not make things good for the game 
Uh, so I was really, really upset playing the game and just thinking about like, oh, like I hate that. And nowadays it just seems like it's in every game where the games are as easy as possible and they're not challenging, they're not fun, they're just very sort of boring. They're sort of like time passers. They're like time wasters, actually, because it's a waste of fucking time to play Far Cry 6. I mean, this is the sixth one in the series, and it really doesn't feel like it at all. This feels like it should be Far Cry 3, and then the Far Cry 3 game feels like it should be Far Cry 6. And then um, another issue that I noticed when I started playing the game was that the main villain, uh, Gustavo Fring from Breaking Bad, a.k.a. Anton, he starts off and his, his model is so badly animated, he, his, his mouth was not even syncing up with the, the voice and the words and so that that was terrible i thought that that was a huge another just eh, eh, eh. you know when you have red flags like that it does not give you a good impression of a game and i don't think it's asking for a lot either like i don't think it's asking a lot for a game to to be audible like for for you to just be able to hear a game and see a game and and look at the screen and look and see a fucking model matching up with the audio. Like, I don't think that's too much to ask. And it was like the opening minute. So, like, that's the opening minute of your game is this bad modeling, this bad animation. That's not good. And then, after that, the dialogue. <coughs> the dialogue's really bad in this game. The writing is just bad all around, actually, but... The, the dialogue in particular is really bad because you had, there were some really funny bad lines I remember in the beginning and it gets worse as the game goes on because you meet certain characters who are really weird and really over the top and their lines are terrible too and uh, the, the there was a terrible line where you're going on like one of your first missions and you have to do missions for Clara because, you know, uh, you're staying at her camp. And so, you know, you're basically sucked into doing this stuff because you're, you're staying with them, with these revolutionaries. And you have to burn down this field of uh, Vivero. Is that what it's called? Vivero tobacco, whatever. Uh, I can't remember. It's all stupid story crap. I mean, the story is just so bad. We're going to get into the story, too, because the story is trash in and of itself. But he's burning it down, and they're playing like a song. Or maybe, I don't think they're playing a song, actually. And there's a line that says, uh, I think that this is very familiar to me. Or this seems really familiar to me. And I thought, that is the stupidest line I've ever heard. This feels familiar to me. And, and like, why the fuck would this random guy be saying that he doesn't know about the Far Cry series? Like, so number one, that doesn't make sense. His character doesn't know about Far Cry 3 with the, the burning down the weed while the uh, reggae music is playing. And then number two, you don't have to say this feels familiar to me for the audience to realize, oh wow, this is a lot like that. So I thought that that was really bad and it just shows how dumb they think their audience is because they, you know, with dialogue like that, you know, I didn't even listen to all the dialogue because most of the time I've played the, the game while having something in the background like uh, editing videos. So I'm listening to that and not really listening to the game. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't because I bet there's a lot more bad dialogue. So... The story is just complete trash. I mean, you it's basically the standard open world affair where you're introduced to a big world and you do a couple of missions for the core characters and then they introduce you to the rest of the world and then there's all these regions to go to. 
And in all those regions, there are these underbosses who you have to defeat to get to the big boss. And so you can basically do it in any order you want. I did it in the order of uh, the McKay guy first. And then I did the the Jose, the, the general one. Then I did the uh, the other one. And then I did the, the woman one last. Because I thought that her story sounded stupid. It was like something about propaganda and media. And I thought it would be like really cringy SJW story. Uh, so I saved that for last. And honestly, it's sad because I think that the McKay storyline was clearly the best storyline. And it feels, too, like since that area is the closest to the first area of the game that you start from, I feel like they put the most effort into that part of the story. And I feel like everything after that, they just stop putting effort in. Because this game really feels like they did not put any effort into it at all. Like, except for the animation and stuff like that. Oh, uh, um, I couldn't even say that all the way, 100%. It really feels like... It, it feels... And, and, it, and you get it at the end, too, because... Before, let's get back to the story later. Um, But if, after the ending of the game, the map is basically vacant. There's nothing to do. Because I completed everything before completing the story. Because that's what I like to do. Um, but the story is just... The game is vacant after that. And what can you do after that? That's another thing. Ubisoft. What can you do after you complete this game? Oh, you can buy DLC. And you can, uh, you know, just sit there and stare into space like an idiot. Because you can't play a different difficulty mode. No, you can't do that because there's only two game modes, story mode and action mode. So you can't do that. And so it's like, that pissed me off. Because that's what I love to do with every game that I play. I'll play it on medium or hard mode first, and then I'll go back and play it on very hard mode or like a survivor type of mode. I was very disappointed I wasn't going to be able to do that with this game because then I saw that they had this stupid ass feature after the game has completed the story where it's this insurgency mode and it feels like the biggest fuck you of the whole game. Uh, it, well, the ending did too of the fucking story. But this insurgency thing is basically a regenerating thing where they'll, they'll have a different province where you have to complete all these objectives and then you have to defeat a boss and it's like it's an insurgency and it's like oh god this is so stupid and it just feels like they're baiting you it feels like they just want you to spend more money and and they just put the least amount of effort as possible in the after game section i mean this game doesn't even feel completed like this game the story is not complete at all. I mean, this story is garbage. What is the story? Uh, he kills all the guys. Uh, he gets c captured fucking constantly. The main character. He gets captured over and over and over again. And, it, you know, and then he gets let go or he escapes somehow. and Or then he meets the boss and he gets to kill the boss like only one time. That's another thing that pissed me off too is that you didn't even get to kill all the bosses because all these stupid side characters wanted to kill them so badly. Another thing was the story, the, the McKay story, was actually, like, okay because I really liked the use of the poison and I liked all the gameplay with that and about, like, that one room where you had to shoot all the valves and everything to, I don't know, depoison the room or to shut the valves. That was pretty cool. Or, yeah, you had to turn the valves, not shoot them. So that was cool. And then when you get to the, the boat with McKay in the boat, it's it's nice how you get to make a decision that alters the game. Well, guess what? You never get to make a decision like that again. That's the only decision. Like, how the... Why? Why? Like, wouldn't you want to make these decisions and have that be, like, a fun feature... 
where you're making hard decisions throughout the whole story, wouldn't that be a good thing? Oh, of course not. You can't do that. Because then the rest of the game, it's all predetermined from there. And most of the game, it's really a lot to do with the son of Anton, Diego. And honestly, I thought from the teaser trailer that Diego would be the guy that you play as. Uh, but really, you just play as this random guy named Danny, or a girl named Danny. And Danny's trash. I mean, I don't like Danny at all. He's just a... I mean, he's, he's, he's a nothing. Like, he's just this guy doing missions so that he can stay at camps. Like, he literally has no character development whatsoever. He's just a blank slate for you to put your emotions on. And honestly, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I didn't care about any of this shit. And so you got to the end, and the story focused on how Danny is trying to save the boy the whole story. He saves the boy multiple times. Even at, like, the... the near, near the end, he saves his life again and jumps in front of him, like, helps him uh, not get shot with a sniper rifle. Well, then at the end, Anton kills him anyway... And so it's completely pointless. Completely pointless and useless. That really pissed me off. I thought that that was the biggest... That was so disappointing. Like, after this whole game, this whole story... You don't get to kill the main villain. Because it's a cutscene. You know, so it's... Instead of being a shitty quick time event... It's a shitty cutscene. Now, number two... He's sick and so he's gonna die anyway... And uh, number three, he kills his son. And so that's a complete anticlimactic ending. What a bullshit ending. I hated this story. I thought it was terrible. And it was so funny because they had this, this mission where you're near death and you're driving and you're having hallucinations of characters who are supposed to be important to you. And it's so funny because literally none of these characters were important to me at all. Like, I didn't care about any of these characters at all. And I and some of them I didn't even recognize. So, like, I was like, uh, who's that? Who's that? Like, <laughs> so that's how shitty these characters were. Really, the best part of this game was just the gameplay. And really, there's nothing to brag about or to say that's good because all the gameplay is literally just like the previous games that have been recently coming out. So there's really nothing to say about this game that's any better than any of the other last couple of games. I haven't played Part 5, I meant Part 4 and 3. Parts 4 and 3. Uh, part 5 I skipped because I hated Part 4 so much. And Part 4 had the same issue, where the story was trash, it ended too early, it felt like it was rushed, because they wanted you to spend money on DLC. And they do that with this game too. There's going to be this DLC shit where you play as the main villains from parts 3, 4, and 5. And it's like, I don't care about that. Who wants to do that? I wanted to play this story with Gustavo Fring from Breaking Bad. Uh, you, you don't get anything with him. He's hardly even in the game. Like, <laughs> he's hardly in the game. Uh, what a disappointment this game was. When I when I play a game, I look at two different things. Two things matter. The gameplay, number one, because you're playing the game. Even bad games with a bad story have good gameplay. But then number two is the story. Now this game had neither good gameplay or good story. It was all trash. The gameplay was enjoyable... In terms of it just passed the time. Other than that, it was not good at all. So I would say that this game is overall trash. And I would say that it might be even worse than Part 4. Because with Part 3, Part 3 is obviously the best. Because, you know, everyone says why all the time. Even Part 3 had issues. Like, Part 3 had some issues with, like, the boss battles. How they were quick time events. And shit, like with the Voss guy, how he's... Oh, God, I hate... Oh, I don't even want to think about that. That shitty boss fight. That was so disappointing. So disappointing. 
But at least the game was overall fun, and I would much rather play Far Cry 3 again than play Far Cry 6 ever again. I'd rather play Far Cry 4 before I play Far Cry 6 again. This game was so disposable, and it had all these, like, features that, like, they, you know, you could clearly tell that they were proud of them, like, these stupid, meaningless features, like, they had a chicken fight thing, uh, and, and that was pointless, that didn't, that was just, like, a stupid, mindless minigame, uh, they had this thing where you had amigos, and I will say, one of the highlights was some of the, was actually the side stories, like, the, the quote yarn stories, uh, especially the one with the the rooster Chicharron. Uh, that that one was actually really fun because you just followed him around as he went on a rampage, and and it's unfortunate because as an as an amigo he's trash, and you can use him as a companion, and all the companions are really trash. I mean they're really not that good at all. And so there's features, there's all sorts of features like that that are just not very impressive at all. They don't really do anything to enhance the game. The best parts of the game to me was like the, I don't know, probably the side stories and then a couple of the battles were cool in terms of like some of the the checkpoints, you know, doing all the checkpoints was cool. And uh, some of the forts were cool. The D bases, whatever. Some of them were annoying, though. Like, there was one in, like, a story mission where you go inside and you have to hack into, like, three computers while the, the military keeps coming. That was too hard. Uh, too hard in the sense that it was just annoying. And it was, like, sort of like a headache playing it. But it was still easy. It was all easy. The whole game was, like playing with my eyes closed so overall I'm not gonna I don't rate video games in terms of food for some reason I don't know why if if I did you guys wouldn't want to know because it would be really bad so I'm just gonna give this this game an easy rating that you guys can really understand even if you're the stupidest person in the world you can understand an A to an F rating well, this game is a D- minus rating. It was really unimpressive, mediocre, uninspired, complete waste of time. And it really, it, it just, there was nothing new about it, too. Like, when you play a, the sixth game in a series, you really think that by now they, they'd have all this criticism that they could work from, that they could... Uh, make a sixth game and improve on all these features that have been bad in the past or or you know like they said about the the boss fights we didn't like the boss fights well you think that they would improve those and make it so you can actually kill the bosses no of course not uh, of course not we're not going to do that because we gotta instead of improving the things that matter we're going to have a, a story mode and an action mode like, fuck off. The closest game I can think of to this game is Dead Island. And it's funny because Dead Island I actually played and finished for the first time this year. And I got the Platinum Trophy. And Dead Island was a phenomenal game compared to this. Uh, so I would say if you want to play like the good version of this game, go play Dead Island. Because it's on PS Now and it is an A-plus game. It has issues. It has quite a bit of issues. Once again, it's very short. Which they make up for in the fact that you have to play as all the different characters to get a certain trophy. And there are some other cool things too. Like there was this one hacker and he gave me a gun that shoots like fire bullets. Well, in Far Cry 6, they have, like, the same gun, and it's shitty. It's a shitty gun, of course, for a shitty game. So that's my review of Far Cry 6. What a waste of time. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment and tell me what you thought of Far Cry 6. Because it is enjoyable in some parts, you know. It's just a very casual, mediocre experience. And then please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more video game reviews in the future. Goodbye everybody, see you soon.